Well, today I'm going to demonstrate for you um, Project 18 fifth graders. Um, this is for uh, the background, and eventually you're going to do a boat. That's going to be your next project is a boat. Um, and you'll put the boat on top of this project. So you're not going to send this to me um, right away. Well, you will, uh, except you'll send it to me as a picture. Um, but basically, if you look at the instructions on the front side on page 45 of your instructions, you can see I have here, it tells you that we're going to do a, what's called a wash. It's a thin, watery coat of paint used to cover a large area. Um, remember that the value or lightness or darkness of a watercolor hue will, will vary according to the amount of water you use. Now, one, the one issue that's always happened um, is that somebody, and a lot of people sometimes, will use way too much water um, for their piece. And so you've got to be careful not to do that. Now, you see here, I have my two water cups. I have my... Um, my wash and then my rinse cup and so when I every time I do something with paint and I want to change colors I'm going to use my wash to wash it first and then I'm going to rinse it here to get it as clean as possible so I can get that color out now the first thing we want to do we want to try to match these colors that are here you see the colors here in this side um, you can also do um, a reddish or golden color if you would like and so that's another option to do that um, if you wanted to do that now that one's a little bit more difficult you can see on this There's a lot more of the um, the yellow that you've got to mix in there You've got the Sun that's setting or rising however you want to look at it um, And so you've got to deal with that in a little bit different way. So what you want to do um, is you want to uh, Start on this you want to try to match as best as possible with what the colors will be and so so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take some of my water and I'm gonna get the, uh, the little bit of the paint and I'm gonna put it over here in my tray now you see you put it in your tray the reason they have that tray there is so that you can mix so that you can mix colors and you can make it uh, darker if you want to and you get more of the water like this now that's probably a little bit too much um, of the paint, so I'm going to add a little bit just water to it to try to thin it out a little bit. All right, now I'm getting it a little bit thin. Now I'm going to test it here. Now you see I have too much paint. I can tell in testing it and matching it to the color there. Also, it's a little bit uh, of a darker blue than what I would like. Now it's not too far off. It's once it dries, it'll actually be pretty close. But I could do this. I could remember, like you, you learned, I could add some white to it. And so I'm going to try to get some white out of here. And again, now I'm starting to get um, a little bit too much uh, of the blue there. So to see, now I've got a little bit more white in it. And now I'm going to test it again. And I'm going to try to spread it out as much as possible. Now I'm getting pretty close to my color. So you see, you can use the white to help lighten it up. You can use the darker blue to help darken it if that's what you would like to do. Now, you want to try to match this as closely as possible. It doesn't have to be exact. But the more uh, water you use, the better it's going to come out. Now, so I've got, I've got the idea of what color I want. So now what I'm going to do, because this is a larger area, I want to use a larger brush. Now, you may not have a large brush like this. Some of you might. Um, I have a suggestion if, if it's possible to get. If your mom has um, makeup that she uses or an old makeup thing, uh, she may have brushes like small short brushes that are thick like this that would allow you uh, the opportunity to basically um, clean it out. You know, you clean it out with water. And this one seems like it's a little bit dirty already. So I'm going to go ahead and, and wash it first. And I can see already, yeah, some paint's coming out. That, that color's getting a lot darker. And I didn't, haven't even used this one. You could tell that there was some in there. And I'm going to rinse it on this side. And you can even see that there, there's definitely uh, paint that's coming out of there. All right. Now it's not bad uh, to have some paper towels or something in order to get yourself uh, to the point where you can clean it off or dry off your brush after. You don't want it too wet, so you want to keep it as dry as possible. Um, I mean, in other words, you don't want to soak it. Now you can always get it wetter. You can't get it drier on the paper. You can, but it's not a good way to do it. So now that I've gotten this, and I'm, I'm going to use a little bit more paint here. And I'm going to give myself a little bit more because I need it for a larger area. And so I'm going to um, mix this up. 
and I'm gonna clean it out a little bit now. Rinse it in my I mean, rinse it in my rinse here. Dry it off a little bit, get some of that color out of there, and use some more of the white. I'm gonna add some of that white to it, make it a little bit lighter. Okay. So now I'm about ready. I've got a good bit of water here, and I'm just gonna soak my brush up in it. And the first thing you want to be careful of doing is not to go too slow. You don't want too much water. You really won't want it that wet. And so I'm gonna start, and I'm gonna start at the top. All right, because that's my darker area. You see how you just go over it once, and I look like I'm using a little bit too much water as it is. But I'm lightening it up a little bit. Now, once this dries, see, I can always add, if it was too dark, I could add more water, just water, to kind of wash it out a little bit. Um, once this dries, you'll see that the colors will come out pretty close. You can see already it looks like a streaky sky here. All right, well, let's go ahead and, and do a little bit on the the bottom now that i've soaked up you see all my paint is gone now so it's all in my brush and i'm going to kind of kind of go across here now obviously um the more i put it on the darker it's going to get and so i'm going to kind of oh and you know what the first thing i forgot to do is i'm supposed to actually get the whole thing wet first just to let it um so that it's ready and you can uh, get it wet that way you can do it the way i did it but it's actually a little bit better if you do it the other way so you can see already now, um, I got this. I have way too much water here. So I might try just dabbing that dry a little bit. I'll put some uh, um, tissues on it, let it dry a little bit. All right, and then what I'll do is I'll add some more color because um, the more color that I add, now you gotta remember, you can't make it too dark. So always put it in a tray first to see how it is. All right, and I don't want it too dark, but I don't want it too light either. I want it to be... Uh, noticeable that it that of, of where it is and so I'm going to um, add a little bit of the white and so I'm going to dry this off a little bit first I'm going to add that to the to the blue there and yeah, maybe I think I'll add a little bit more blue as well because I think that might have been too light all right so now I've got some good color there all right now I'm going to try um, going ahead and toward the bottom, you notice how it's a little bit darker at the bottom, so I'm going to put some blue out there. Now you notice it looked a little dark, so I'm using a little bit more to lighten it up, all right, to spread it out. And by the way, this is watercolor, so you want to do it on a, even though you don't want to, it's cleanable, but you don't want it to make a mess of your table, and especially your mom doesn't want you to make a mess of your table, so you want to make sure that you're not uh, doing that too much, all right? And so... Now I'm getting, now you see how I streak there? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some water and I'm gonna lighten it up a little bit. Now I've got a lot of water in it, but it will dry. But you see how it's made it lighter now? And so I can see behind it, that color that's there. And so I'm making the whole thing, make sure it's all wet still. Again, like I had before, okay? And then I'm going to, um, I think what I'll do is I'll let it dry. And so while I let it dry, um, I will, uh, then let me see if I can pause this and look like I can let's see now so in any case so I might add some color later and I may try to um, darken up the top a little bit here um, that seems a little light to me but you notice how I'm using less and less and maybe I'll use a little bit more white I can always use that to lighten things up as well and so you want to make sure that you're doing the best that you can. Just try to get it to match as closely as possible. Now there are several ways in an open scene like this to make it look good. This bottom part here is a little bit wet right now. So once it dries, I may find, I'll find what it looks like in the end. And in, in doing that, what I'll probably do is I'll probably find that I need to, you know, redo some areas. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do those areas. You try to keep it off. Now you see how I got a little bit on there? Um, I don't really want it on the mountains. It will show. And so if the less you get it on the actual mountains, the better that you're going to be. And so, so I'm going to um, just kind of spread out the blue. And so you see here it's kind of uh, clumped together. So I'll use a little bit of water and I'll spread that as I do that. Now the, the paper is wet. It is absolutely soaked right now. And in fact, I need a little bit of blue here for that streaked area. You gotta be careful because the paper, because it's paper, um, it will start to, uh, I don't know if you call it pilling up, um, it'll start to um, uh, fall apart is what it'll start to do. And so you wanna make sure that you're not 
um, doing too much water. And if you do too much water, let it dry. Once it dries, it'll be good to go again as far as you using uh, what you need to use. So I'm gonna leave that for right now, but that's generally what you're gonna do for your project here. Um, later on, I'll show you um, my next step after it dries, and I'll give you a second video tomorrow and show you how that, um, how I take care of that part of what I might wanna do to make it a little bit better. All right, have a good day.